Hi everyone, Elliot here from RMA. A few days ago, somebody asked us whether a lightweight level four plate would have any noticeable performance difference with a heavy level four plate. And we thought that was an interesting question. So let's dig into it. The short answer is no. You won't see any noticeable difference in performance between a lightweight plate and a heavier level four plate. They're both level four certified and they're both produced to do pretty much the same thing. The longer answer is yes. Due to the chemical makeup differences between lighter plates and heavier plates, you may see some slight differences in crack propagation or uh, vibration through or across the material or those sorts of things. But in a combat situation, it's not really terribly relevant. It's much more suited for a laboratory type conversation. However, you might start seeing some serious performance differences between manufacturers. The thing is, Virtually all plate manufacturers that sell an NIJ certified level four plate are building that plate to NIJ's test standards because consumers believe that level four is the top performance you can get from body armor. But that only means defeating a single 30 out six M2AP cartridge under strict laboratory settings to earn your level four product certification. That's it. There's no 556, 762 or other calibers tested. There are no tests to demonstrate multiple hits or multiple distances Manufacturers know the barrel length, distance to target, maximum velocity, even the humidity in the room. So it's actually pretty simple to build a plate that will beat those tests. There's even a statistical model that NIJ employs that's used to allow some plates to go beyond 44 millimeters of back face deformation and still be certified. Fair testing impacts are only allowed within a small window of angle. NIJ doesn't even test within two inches of the edge of the plate. The fact is, most lightweight plates on the market are created by shaving as much material as possible from the plate design so that it can pass NIJ or other laboratory tests and nothing more, while being advertised as an extremely lightweight design. Here at RMA, we recognize that building a plate to be NIJ tests under strict laboratory conditions isn't the same thing as building armor that works in the real world. RMA overbuilds all of our armor to have multi-hit performance. Whether it's lightweight 3A, level 3, level 3 plus, or even level 4. Your 1155, 1090, or 1192 plate is designed to save your life in an emergency. Nobody lives in a laboratory. We live in the real world. And whether you're defending your country, your community, or your home and family, you need to know that when you put your armor on, it will work for you 100% of the time. As a result of our overbuilding process, You've probably seen a lot of videos on YouTube demonstrating the 1155, our most affordable level four plate, doing some things that most level four plates aren't able to do. Whether it's full edge to edge protection, high powered sniper rounds at close range, or the ability to defeat a huge number of impacts, you can rest assured that your RMA plates are ready right when you need them most. And thanks to that overbuilding process, we're proud to say that RMA has never once failed a fit test. Make sure your armor works in the real world instead of just in a laboratory.